everyone, I'm Simone, Tech Specialist for KiloView. In this video, I want to talk about SRT and how to achieve this streaming protocol with our encoders and decoders. For this video, I want to use our P-Bonding series solution with our all-in-one decoder, the D350. But first of all, what is SRT? SRT stands for Secure Reliable Transport. It's a streaming protocol meant to go from point A to point B with really low latency, reliability and security in mind. It works with three main modes, caller, listener and rendezvous. And I'm going to explain you this on the video. So, no further hesitation and let's go in the web UI of our encoder and decoder to properly connect those with the streaming protocol. Let's go. Okay, this is the web UI of our P1 bonding encoder. As you can see from here, I've connected the PTZ camera with the SDI, and then I connect the encoder to the Kilolink server to access the bonding capabilities and stream to the D350. From the Kilolink server, I'm going to create a SRT feed. So add the streaming service, select SRT, give it a name, and here, as you can see, the handshake mode, we have both listener and caller. So basically speaking, whenever you're using the listener mode, the encoder will have to open a port on the firewall in order to give the decoder the connection and shake. In caller mode though, you will have to assign the IP address of the destination decoder and the ports on where it's going to listen the signal. The easiest way is always to use a listener mode whenever a server is used. For this specific usage, I'm going to select the first available listener port in my Kilonix server, which is 30,010. I'm going to select the latency, which is my case, I will settle to 300 milliseconds. In order to have the right latency, just remember, you multiply by four the RTT latency in between the two devices. Once you have done it, you just press OK. Here, I've created this SRT feed. I can copy and paste onto the D350. So, select the Add button and go for SRT. Give it a name. In this case, we are going to use the color mode to color our encoder. Put the IP address of the Kilolink server and the ports where the encoder is streaming. For better usage, just give the same latency amount also on the decoder side. As you can see here in the advanced setting, we can show other things like the stream ID and the encryption. As I told you before, SRT is able to actually add password and stream ID to your own stream in order to make it secure and actually stream it everywhere in the world without any issue. For this specific task, I'm gonna to leave it blank. So press OK and continue. Now we have created the source. I just select and send it to the output one. The light here will turn from yellow to blue to green where the connection is gonna be established. And from here, you can see this is the D350 decoding the P1, and this is the camera. I can move it the camera, as you can see, with a really low latency. Now let's try to do the opposite. I put the D350 under a static IP address, and we are gonna use the P1 encoder to send into color mode to the D350, into listener mode. In my specific case, I'm gonna open the port 10,000 on my firewall on the D350 in order to achieve this. I'm now in the Kilonix server. Let's go to add the streaming service, select SRT, give it a name, and this time we are gonna choose color mode. I'm gonna put the IP address where the D350 is, and the port 10,000. Put 300 milliseconds again, and this time 
Let's add also a password. So go on the advanced setting and select enable. Select ICE128 and put our password. Let's copy this. We are going to use it on the D350. I've now connected the D350 to the Kilolink server 3 in order to remote access it as far as on another network. Let's go in the Add page, select SRT, give it a name, and this time we are going to use the listener. Select the port 10,000, the latency, and now add the password with the same encryption. Now simply drag and drop the feed into the program output and you will see it will turn from yellow to blue to green. And here you see you have the feed on the screen with the P1 sending the signal through color mode. I hope you like this video. You can always reach us at www.kilovie.com and for any technical support send us an email to support at kilovie.com. Stay tuned for more videos to come, subscribe to our channels and see you in the next one.